but well, I, I'm so proud of our, our program, man, to get to get get a playoff win. I think we beat a really good football team. I really do. Um, you know, I, I knew they'd be tough on defense, but live and in color, they were really good on defense. Uh, you know, and then the quarterback, you know, for a freshman coming there and be able to do some things he does, I think that kid's going to be really special. Um, you know, so when I look at our team, when you hold anybody to seven points, then that's freaking, that's unbelievable. Uh, a team that's been scoring, I think, averaging around 38 a game the last five or six weeks. Uh, our defense has been playing really good all year. <laughs> Big stops, causing turnovers, fourth down stops. You know, so obviously Ken was all over the place, but just defensively, uh, that's the strength of our team right now. A lot of experience, and the one guy that came in to, you know, we lost Mike Campbell at corner, and Tavion McCarthy's come in and played his daggum tail off. You know, as a, as a graduate transfer. <clears throat> Offensively, we made enough plays. Obviously, Ty, I think he had a 100-yard day. You know, uh, I think, you know, Carter, you know, we, we've got we to gotta do a little bit better job pass protection-wise, but he hung in there and made some throws when he had to, and obviously he had a big run for a touchdown that helped us separate there. Um, you know, so <clears throat> playoff wins are hard to get. I thought it was a heck of a defensive game. Um, kids were knocking the stew out of each other. Uh, <laughs> it was – Pretty hard hitting game, right? So, uh, but I appreciate how far we've come. Um, it's great to have guys, especially guys that have been with us for four years. Both these kids have been with us since the beginning. Um, you know, for them to be able to, to get in this tournament and win a game and that hard work pay off, that means a lot. It means a lot to me. I wanted them to be able to experience some of this. And I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity in front of us. Uh, it's an honor to go play that team this week. Up in up in South Dakota, and uh, you know that'll be a great challenge. But we're going to practice and prepare, and go up there and do our best and see what happens. You know, we want to embrace that opportunity. We want to embrace uh, that challenge, and not back down from it. So, <clears throat> really proud of these two guys. I mean, these guys are Ty's about to graduate here in probably a few weeks. Ken's already in grad school. Uh, these kids are what it's about. You know, they've worked their tail off. They've done everything we've asked them to do, and they're out there making plays. And uh, real proud of our, our whole football team. Are. But winning, <laughs> winning takes a whole university, okay? So it's it's a president that believes in it. It's an AD. It's it's, it's professors. It's, it's support staff. Um, and then the people in this building that believe in what we're doing. And that, that takes a whole university, you know, to give yourself a chance to be successful. And they've made the investment in us. And I believe we're just going to keep getting better. That's what we want to do. We want to compete nationally, and that's where we want to grow this program. So we've come a long way, and we're going to keep getting better. Questions? <coughs> Ken, going into the game, you knew it was allegedly going to be a big offensive game. Was it a different game than you expected? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of action, but not big plays, you know, really defensive. It, it was a lot of what we expected, but going into the game, we knew we were going to have to contain the quarterback heat. He's uh, definitely dangerous with his legs. So that was one of, one of our keys to victories. And also uh, takeaways, getting turnovers, putting the uh, ball in the offense hand as many times as possible. I think we had like four turnovers, maybe some turnover on downs, you know, making them punt the ball, put them in situations of uh, three and outs, you know, situations that uh, put the ball back in the offensive hands. So uh, they were what we expected, but I think we stepped into the challenge. You didn't expect that many punts in the first half, did you? <laughs> no. What did y'all do best? What was the when you think? And you hard to think right now, but what were you happiest with, with as you're playing the game? You're thinking, man, we are really doing this well. Was it just pressure? Was it a little bit of everything? Oh, well, one of the biggest things that just stood out is like containing the quarterback. And like the, the previous week of watching film, you can see how he's extending drives and finding uh, guys down the field just because we're losing. Guys are losing contain on them, so I, I think that was a big uh, point in this game and dominating the run game. That's that's one of our keys every week. But once you stifle the run game, you make them kind of one dimensional, you know. So, uh, like I said, just uh, contain the quarterback. When, when I look at this too, I mean, 49 yards rushing for them. They had 300 yards rushing last week. And that two good backs, and we we shut those those guys down. And, uh, that's tremendous defense. Tremendous. 
throw through a battlefield position tonight. Talk about Reese. I thought Reese had it. Yeah, I mean, punting was critical. I mean, just trying to flip the field. and um, Their kid did a good job flipping the field some. You know, they, they rugby, they were, they were trying to do everything they could keep the ball out of Dev's hands, and which I would too. Uh, I think they pinned us inside the one one time. I mean, like the ball was literally almost on the goal line one time. So that's, that's, that's tough. But then Carter also having that pooch punt that was inside, the, I guess, the three down there. That's big. Those are, those are game-changing plays because we held them and then we – we just got a field goal the next possession. Well, that started because of the pooch punt, you know. So, uh, yeah, I thought I thought Reese did well. Uh, I thought we covered pretty well. Um, flipping the field, hitting yardage, those, those are critical things. In a game like this, field position, critical. Uh, Ty, we talked about how it's a defensive game, but you still, like, even across that 100-yard mark, I mean, and it was, it was a bunch of, you know, kind of medium chunk plays for you. Those ended up being really important because you needed all the points, right? So, I mean, when it's a defensive game like that, how do you change your approach to wide receiver and how did it feel to get those plays, get it done? Right. Uh, we just got to understand our opportunities are going to come. So, uh, whether it's me or, or Devon or any other receiver, any other running back, you know, you see a defensive game like that and you know, okay, well, we're going to have to make that play when we get our chance. So, uh, kind of had to make those plays. Took a couple hits. You know, they had some really good, real strong safeties. So, um, just had to be physical and do my best. Um, one for Coach Prime, or either of the players too, matters to y'all. Um, we talked about the defense. Um, Lance has been a guy that's led that defense uh, in a lot of ways. That interception at the, end, at the end for him, I mean, that felt special to me. How did that feel for you, James? Yeah, I mean, Lance has been active. You know, he's really had a great senior year. And uh, he's, I think he's embraced, you know, he knows this is – his eligibility is over, and so he's really come through and scored a couple of defensive touchdowns this year. I mean, he's he's, he's really done well. And then you look out there, and young Miles Weston got a couple of picks. Okay, well that's huge. That's a freshman corner out there um, that kind of closed the deal as well. So, what did we get? Three interceptions, and we did not have any turnovers. Going plus three, and we've been doing that lately. It's, it's complimentary football when you when you're plus three in the turnovers. Um, and you're playing great defense, you know, we'll figure out a way to get a couple of touchdowns offensively if, if, when that happens, when you keep getting opportunities. The defense kept giving the offense opportunities. And, uh, so it's good to see that happen. People going out there and playing the ball and making plays. Uh, similar thing, I mean, him as a leader, but you guys, you just mentioned you've been here for the whole four years, right? So the last few years, um, you know, have been really close. We keep using that phrase, knocking on the door. I mean, now you make it and you guys get in and you I mean, you put on a show, you guys played great games, so how does it feel to get in and get the job done in the first round? Yeah, I go first. Uh, Coach Cronin kind of hit on it last week at the selection show. I mean, yeah, it's great to get in, but we didn't get in just to get in. We come to make some noise, we come to compete, no matter who uh, we're lined up against. So it's, it's a great honor uh, for the university, for the team, for us as players, but we're going to go out and treat every Saturday like every Saturday, <laughs> no matter who's our opponent, so it means a lot to us. Right, and uh, speaking on the last couple of years, I, I feel like that just makes us more hungry, you know, hungrier and hungrier, and like uh, Coach Cole always said, you know, the hunt is always on, so um, we ate tonight, but we got to go hunt again next week, so we're going to try to get that meal too. Uh, my last one, Coach, um, talked about South Dakota, you know, South and North Dakota, kind of a monolith in the FCS playoffs. How do you prep to go up there? You know, what's your mindset? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably need to buy a jacket. <laughs> uh, I, I, honestly, I just want us to go be the best we can be. You know, and there's no Mission Impossible games. Uh, we deserve to be in the playoffs. Now, we certainly respect how great of a program that is and the type of football team they have. Don't, don't get it twisted. Um, they're good, okay, and they won a national championship last year, and they ain't lost in a while, okay. Um, so I want our guys to embrace that challenge. I want them to embrace the elements that are going to be – everything about what we're going to do. If you're ever going to win a national championship here, you're probably going to have to win a game up there in some snows at some point. I mean, that's just – that's the way it is. So I don't want us to back down from anything. Um, I want us to go expect good things to happen. That happens when you prepare. So we got to do a great job of preparation this week. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a little different. 
but I don't want us to back down from any of that. I want us to embrace the opportunity, okay, act like a champion, prepare like a champion, and go expect good things to happen. Play with some confidence. We're, we're, we're a team that's kind of been playing pretty well lately, and I believe our defense can, you know, our defense is tough against anybody they play, you know, and uh, so obviously they're going to have some, some big, strong kids, and they're going to run the ball right at us and do some things, and they're going to be tough and all those things, certainly. Um, but at the same time, it's a lot of it's about us going to be the best we can be, preparing to be the best we can be, and going to play in that way, and see what happens. That's what we're going to do. What was what did you like most? What you saw today, what, in your offense, defense, uh, players, units. What what did you like the most? That, you know, kind of. I liked us shutting them their run game down mm -hmm. today. I, I thought that was uh, that was a, something that was certainly a great challenge for us because those two backs now are good. They run the stretch play. And, those kids get loose a lot, and we did not let them get loose. We tackled well, we got them on the ground, um, and we were physical. We knocked those kids around. And uh, so I would say that. I would say, you know, just making that team one dimensional was the difference in the game. I just want to ask you a quick question. I, I know you've stuck through the process of trying to get, you know, come to the highs and lows. What does it mean just for you to be as far and just, you know, your time as a little mercer, just the fan experience, everything? You've come a long way, you know, come from Georgia. How do you sum up your time here at Mercer, just, you know, with everything going on from the start to now? And what are your highlights? It's nice, you know, uh, Coach Connor, he really helped me get that, that confidence back in myself, you know. Um, when I first left um, Georgia and I kind of came here, I wasn't as confident as I was, you know, obviously because I had to leave. I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe I wasn't uh, the football player I thought I was. Just over the years, you know, he's kept uh, instilling that confidence in me. And him having faith in me is a, a real big thing, too, you know, seeing that we need a play and he trusts me to go get that play, you know, that just helps me. And, you know, I feel like I'm at my best right now thanks to him, thanks to the, the rest of the staff, too. Coach, what do you mean to you? I know that coming from walk on the UGA to now, I mean, you know, one of the best program, the best receiver program history, just the numbers wise, what does it mean to you and just, you know, with performance field? Well, we kind of been on a lot of these kids, Ken, uh, that have been here with us this whole time. It's, it's been a journey together, you know, to, to build something. And Ty's been good since the day he showed up here. Obviously, he had, you know, when he was a freshman, it was, there was a lot, I mean, there was development, all those things, but. I mean, I've never seen anybody have a 350 yard receiving game. Okay, well, he's done that. Okay, and he probably had three or four more 200 yard receiving games. And so, um, and there's times I'm in the huddle and I'm looking at him. He knows. I'm looking at him. I'm calling him, playing. I'm looking at him. You know, and I, I and he's, he knows what that means. You know, it's, it's, it, we're, we're trying to get you the ball. You know, and so uh, um, that, that's, I, I trust him. I've enjoyed coaching him. Coach Harris has done a great job with him. Um, you know, he's had a heck of a career to be able to have 2,000 yard seasons. I mean, that's, I don't know what he's up to now. He's probably closing in on 4,000 yards for a career, somewhere close. I don't know how many touchdowns it is. Um, he's got 30 touchdowns, 35. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean that's, that's a lot of production. And, uh, you know, um, so that's been a special career. I may try to talk him into playing one more year. So, uh, but I'm proud of him, and he, he's a guy who kind of quietly goes about his work. He's a very intelligent football player. He understands the concepts. He understands what we're trying to do, because we do a lot of crap now. We do a lot of stuff. Um, so uh, he's able to, to understand those things and execute those things. Um, you know, it, it, he's had a great career, no question. What is, I know as we wrap our last uh, home game of the year, um, what is just, you know, obviously you've seen the fan experience grow. Obviously, Dan has done a great job. What, how would you just kind of, I mean, you could people coming out for this Thanksgiving holiday with everything with travel. Just come, can you just, what the fans have been to you guys this year? This is the whole, the whole experience. Is that for? Yeah, for for anyone, me? but it's for you too, Coach. I think we got a great thing going on here. Um, I, we wanted to be middle Georgia's team, you know, and obviously Daniel does a lot of work on that, creating a, 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 a an event, okay? This is a family friendly event go 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 see a concert hang out watch a football i mean it, it that's big and, and and our administrators give him the resources to do those things so it's important to try to create that um people see that okay when you walk in here and you're a recruit you see they're trying to win in football okay they're trying to win in football and it's and it's it, it's all those things the little things it's the, it's the weight room it's the the way we 
you know, train them, the way we throw sandwiches at them every day. I mean, it's just, it's, it's all the resources to try to help guys develop and see that football is important to us. So it's easy for a recruit to come in here and go, they're trying to win, you know, and, and I'm very appreciative of that because that takes resources, that takes money, that's people investing in you, that's, that's people raising money and being willing to, you know, to help. Uh, we got a lot of great folks. Like I said, it takes a university, all right, to win in football. Um, and hopefully, uh, because of the success, you know, that we're having and what we've been able to build, that helps the university, okay? You'll, you'll look up, you'll see more people applying to school here. They want to come be a part of that where, where they have good sports programs and, and people fill the stands and have a good time. So, you know, usually that first week of playoffs when it's Thanksgiving, it's pretty, it ain't many people around. I thought we had a pretty big, good crowd here today. And they, and they, came to, they came to play today. You know, so that, that means a lot to these kids. I know it, it means a lot to me. Thank you all. Thank you.